Hello again. So all we're going to show you today is a short little video. It's uh, an extension of our Renesis engine porting video that we showed you before, which was an exhaust port only. And that was done on our CNC machine. We've had excellent feedback and a lot of customers have sent us their irons for this modification. We've also built a substantial amount of engines with porting, probably more now that we offer the CNC porting, we're building more engines with the porting option than just stock. Um, but again, it was just exhaust porting, which we still feel is the most critical area of the Renesis to get the heat out and to allow the most time for the exhaust to uh, leave the engine, discharge carbon. But there is no doubt about it, the testing that we have done with the intake porting has led us to a place now where we are doing the ports bigger than ever with very little sacrifice. In fact, no compromise to idle or bottom end. Uh, in fact, higher manifold vacuum than before. So uh, this template I have in my hand is a template that's um, a standard template that you can buy uh, from Racing Beat. Um, it's a slightly modified exhaust port with uh, the primary port on the same template. And then of course, um, their template is actually just a secondary uh, fifth and sixth port like this. Uh, we are gonna do um, the primary port, of course, on a primary iron, uh, center iron. And then we're gonna do the upper and lower ports on the outside plates. And just a little, um, uh, little thing that we learned along the way is that this video will actually be of interest to anyone who owns a 1984 to 1992 non-turbo six port motor. Stand by and we'll explain why. Okay, so we've mounted up our RX-8 center housing. We're gonna cut uh, the uh, primary port and the exhaust in combination. And what we have typically done in the past is used a template like this where we've done these by hand. Now when we're done, we're gonna see not only perfect uh, repeatable machine work from the CNC machine doing this port. This is the same exhaust port that people have seen in our other exhaust port video that we did. Again, we've done a combination. And when we're all finished with this center housing, we will show you the before and after. And then after that, we will move on to the combination port of doing the lower exhaust port and the fifth and sixth ports. Now this template here is sold just to modify the um, uh, fifth and sixth ports. In past, when we did the early six port motors, we used this template to do the bottom port and the top. Our new CNC program actually has a port uh, program to do the lower port and the upper port. So we will show you that after we cut the center. Most of the people who have seen our uh, exhaust port video for the RX-8, of course you saw that process and that's where we do just the exhaust port by itself. This particular program, we're gonna run the primary port first, then the exhaust, and then when we mount the other piece, we'll show you the upper and lower intake ports. So we'll show you the majority of the intake port as it moves over to the exhaust, we'll cut, we'll let this piece finish, load the other piece, and we'll show you the final products of both. Here we go. Okay, so we've dismounted our working piece from the uh, jig and uh, brought it over to put it beside a stock uh, center plate. So you can see we've dramatically enlarged this port and we've done our standard exhaust porting on this as a, as a combination. We didn't film the rest of this port cutting because you guys have seen that before in our other video. But um, 
there you can see the exhaust work again and here you can probably see much better the the intake port and as I said in the intro there's no bottom end sacrifice no idle sacrifice in fact the manifold vacuum increases and the engine runs just like stock so uh, this is quite exciting for all the Renesis owners out there who uh, want to maximize on their uh, port flow we will move on to the secondary ports and show you that shortly okay so now that we're moving on to the secondary ports I want to just explain something again uh, the ports will be cut in combination exhaust port and uh, lower and upper ports on outside plates what's exciting about this program is we actually tested the RX-8 intake port program on an early 86 to 92 six port motor and lo and behold Mazda put this split in exactly the same spot so what's really cool about this is this program is not just available for RX-8 engine owners this is actually going to cover all 84 including GSLSE 8485 SE and 86 to 92 non-turbo engines and the ports are going to enlarge uh, pardon me the program will enlarge the RX-8 ports even bigger than they are and the RX-8 ports are actually larger than any of the previous engines to begin with so by the time you run the RX-8 program on the early engines you get incredible difference with flow and we're going to actually show you that iron that we ran beside this one when it's finished and you'll see that they look identical but again one's run on an early engine so we're going to go ahead and run this uh, now uh, when it jumps over to the exhaust port we will probably cut again people have seen that before and um, we'll see when this is uh, finished okay so we are done this is our final product as you can see these these ports have opened up substantially and what we do is we actually follow the factory line and leave this on the top of the port this is uh, for side seal support and we don't want to disrupt this and you'll notice on this 86 plate we have identical porting and still a substantial bridge in between the two for side seal support also same thing same shape we've cut down lower into the port here and this is now something that can be purchased for either of the two generations RX-7 or RX-8 so in combination with the exhaust port and all the intake ports I would imagine this is going to be about as high flowing as an RX-8 will allow so far we have felt substantial gains in the car driving the car you can definitely notice a ported engine versus a non-ported engine I don't have horsepower figures for you but if any of you are interested in uh, having your uh, RX-8 engines or early 86 motors CNC ported I promise you there'll be uh, as much gain as one can possibly get so I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time